Ayun guys, good evening. Uh, happy Independence Day once again. Thank you for taking your time. Uh, this will gonna be uh, a short one but uh, will definitely be informative and helpful. Uh, this session is again intended to motivate and inspire the the um the listeners no so very timely to no very timely so the um, topics uh, for tonight uh, in relation to this agenda uh, tonight session are as follows so the myths about emotions that are holding us back common causes of depression so we'll only discuss a few ones since this is really a sensitive uh, topic Ways to face your fears and free yourself from the pain from the of the past, and best practices to overcome negativity and feel happier. No, so we need to live a positive life despite the challenges and adversity. No, so myths about emotions that are holding us back. So, ano ba yung mga um mga common misconceptions no so ano ba yung mga inaakala natin na yung pala pero hindi naman pala ganun no? so number one is venting venting will make you feel better okay so like punching a pillow or calling everyone you know to tell them how bad your day was will only increase your arousal and w- won't make you feel better So marami tayong nakikitang ganyan, uh, laganap 'yan sa Facebook, 'di ba? Minsan makikita mo magpo-post na lang bigla about their personal problem. So it's a common misconception na kapag nag-bend ka, it will make you feel, feel better. Psychologically speaking, no based on studies, it will actually increase uh, the level, no? It only arouses the negativity in you, no? So medyo yung venting venting it's it's not really the solution eh no so that's the common myths habang 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 nagbebenta ka, habang nagpo-post ka sa social media about your problem it will only increase the level of stress within you so hindi yan solusyon no so as much as possible avoid kaya ako as much as possible pag may nakikita akong ganyan sa sa Facebook Medyo iniiwasan ko. Marami, marami na ako sigurong inanpalo na talagang panay yung gano'n eh. Panay yung post sa Facebook. Hindi natin sila masisisi. Weaknesses nila yon, no? Pero hindi kasi maganda rin tingnan kung habang emotion ka is sinisigaw mo sa buong mundo. Siguro may, may, may proper avenue to to convey what you feel, di ba? Sa closest friend mo or even family mo. In a more manageable way, yung tipong hindi hindi ma masyadong ma-arouse yung uh, or may increase yung negativity dun sa sa current situation. Okay? So, second is I can control or handle my emotions, no? So, if you want to change the way you feel, choose to change the way you think and behave. Okay? Psychology says One major factor that brings out the best in you and makes you strong is actually your weaknesses. So as always as I always stated dun sa mga previous na engagement um or mga speaking engagement ko is you should convert your weaknesses into your strength because there's really a reason behind uh every challenges or every problems na na-encounter natin no so Uh, hindi ito toto na you cannot control. In fact, you can control uh, your own emotion and take advantage of, of your personal weaknesses to become the better version of yourself uh, moving forward. So, hindi ito toto yan na hindi mo makukontrol ang emotion mo. You have the, we all have the ability to control our emotions. Especially sa, sa field natin, let's say sa stock market, no? So, If we decide based on our emotions, there's a high probability that we can come up with a wrong decision making. So, yung emotion, makukontrol yan eh. So, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of how to deal with your 
emotion in a particular situation, no? So, hindi totoo yun na kasabihan na hindi mo makukontrol ang emotion mo. Makukontrol mo yun kasi wala namang ibang tutulong sa iyo kung hindi ikaw lang. Okay? Showing emotion is a sign of weaknesses. No? Being aware of your emotions and making a conscious decision to share those emotions with others when it is socially appropriate to do so can be a sign of strength. Okay? Stronger In strongest people make time to help others even if they are struggling with their own problems. So, hindi totoo yung kasabihan na pag, naki, pag nagpakita ka ng, ng emotion mo is weak ka na. In fact, yun nga, doon sa statement ko kanina, the, the stronger people are really those uh, those who make time to to, compro, to confront other people. No? Um and it's really a sign no that um uh, being a strong person and can be a sign of strength no once you demonstrate that uh, uh somehow you you are also vulnerable to your personal weaknesses and have the ability to manage it no so it's not true na pag nagpakita ka na emotion ka is weak ka na it's not really true mas maganda pa nga yun, no And pwede mo pang gamitin yung pagiging weak mo para makatulong sa kapwa mo. Okay? Negative emotions are destructive. Again, this is not uh, true. This is just a myth. No? Um, negative emotions are only destructive when not managed properly. It's, it is an emotion that arises to make us focus on self-defense and control. Okay? So, take note only when anger comes out towards other people in an aggressive form or when it leads to leads us to make bad, impulsive decisions. It, it is, can be destructive. Okay? On the other hand, sadness pulls, up, pulls us into ourselves in order for us to figure out how to respond to the loss of someone or something important to goals lost or not attained. Okay? So sometimes negative things happen in our lives uh, with a purpose. Uh, in uh, in every challenges, in every negativity in our life, we can at least convert that ne- negativity to something more positive. You can come up with something wonderful out of the negativity that's happening in your life. So ability yan eh, na para at least may mabago ka sa buhay mo kasi The more you um uh, in in sa buhay natin kapag may na experience tayo in all uh, in the all as, uh, aspect of our life for example um business man yan uh personal relationship man yan or uh sa family mo so pag may nangyayaring uh, negative mas lalo mo pang na-realize yung importance ng relationship mo let's say sa family mo sa trabaho mo naman, pag nagkakaroon ka ng challenges sa boss mo, mas nare-realize mo na napaka-importante pala na kahit na naiirita ka sa boss mo, importante may trabaho ka pa rin. Diba? At kung hindi hindi mo nakaya yung ugali ng boss mo, eh po, pwede ka namang maghanap ng, ng pwedeng malipatan. Diba? Uh, sa corporate world, ito yung common na uh, uh, kasabihan. No? Don't just find a job, find a boss. Kasi your boss can make or break your career, no? So, so siguro, things happen for a reason, no? So, lagi natin iisipin na yung mga negative emotions na yan, hindi, it's, it's not really destructive in nature. It, it is meant to happen for a reason. And the only reason is really probably para mapabuti pa tayo moving forward, no? So, it's just a matter of how you deal with the situation, no? So, It's it the the how you deal with with the life itself. Kung ano nang yayaare sao, if you will perceive it negatively or positively. Pero mas maganda you should you should perceive anything that's happened sa buhay mo positively. Kasi we have no control over what will happen sa buhay natin, whether negative or positive yan, no? So life needs to move on. Okay. So. And um ito, next is other people have the power over my emotion. So isa ding mint niya na hindi din totoo dahil in reality no one can make you feel anything. 
Other people may influence how you feel, but you are the only one in charge of your emotions, no? So, wag na wag magpapa-apekto sa ibang tao. Lalo na sa field na, na pinili natin. So, itong, itong stock market nga. Wag magpapa-apekto doon sa mga nababasa sa Facebook. Or pwede mo ring i-filter yan eh. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng naipopost sa Facebook is... Uh, does it make sense? Meron din naman talagang very informative. So, ikaw rin naman yung mag-filter niyan eh. So, distinguish the hypes from informative uh, Facebook posts. Pag-hype, no, in general, walang basis yan. Basta na lang pinosa na walang basis, walang source, walang link, kung saan news, walang disclosure. Yung informative post naman sa Facebook, talagang dapat meron yung mga link, meron yung mga, mga basis, no? Kaya ako, as far as I'm concerned, I only post information that is really helpful. And then, pinoprovide ko yung link, okay? Because somehow, I can um, uh, at least influence someone dun sa post ko. Kasi aware ako na baka mamaya magkaroon siya ng na personal uh, or he can decide or she can decide based on his or her emotions based on what he or she have uh, read no so dapat careful tayo uh, sa pagpo-post natin sa Facebook or social media kasi nga yung iba yung weaknesses nila they they, they actually being um overplayed doon sa mga pinopost na tao sa Facebook pero in reality, 'di ba? You are the only person who can take over or control your emotions, no? So, especially in stock market, wag na wag madadala sa emotion. Pag may nabasa ang ganito na ganito ganito about doon sa stock na hawak mo eh negative ang dating sa iyo. So, wag na wag wag na wag ka muna magre-react, 'di ba? I-validate mo muna kung totoo kasi talagang hindi natin maiiwasan 'yan, okay? Sa stock market o sa buhay man in general, di ba? So, ikaw, ikaw pa rin yan eh. Kung magpapa-apekto ka, ikaw din ang talo, di ba? So, hindi sila. Kung, kung ikaw naniniwala ka sa sarili mo na tama ginagawa mo, move on, eh, go on, and do not, do not listen to the noise around you. Okay? So, common causes of depression. So, konti lang to kasi medyo sensitive ito, no? So, um... Of course, number one is stressful life event. Sudden or and stressful changes. So, did you know that uh, during the Wall Street crash in uh, of 1929, which led to the loss of billions of dollars and laid the foundation of the Great Depression, do you have? Um, did you know that 23,000 people during that time committed suicide? Okay, so the ha- it's the highest number of suicide ever in that year. Okay, so napaka-laking factor talaga ng sudden and stressful changes. Kaya itong topic na ito, dinidiscuss natin, although very sensitive, but we have to be aware, no? Because awareness at least can minimize the risk in our end by by simply knowing the reason behind the causes of depression. At least maa-avoid natin na Ah, ganito pala, ganito pala, ito pala isang cause ng depression. So, especially sa field na pinili natin, sa stock market, ito talagang very, very common ito, no? Especially kapag nagkakaroon ng mga great depression, market crashes, kasi pera ang pinag-uusapan, okay? So, health condition, needless to say, no? So, pag ikaw na-diagnose ka na medyo hindi magandang uh, sakit, talagang madidepress ka, especially kung medyo cancer, kung cancer yan o kung something na very serious, isa yan sa pwedeng mag into depression. And as we all know, ayaw natin mangyari sa atin lahat yan. Kaya nga, di ba, may kasabihan, health is wealth, di ba? So, hindi, hindi porke sobrang nag-work tayo, is, uh, tama na yon So, we really need to to make sure that uh, our health is in good condition kasi t- kasi nga di ba uh, uh, at one time in your life pwedeng magbago yan pagka nagkaroon ka ng mga condition na hindi mo ini-expect no 
So, nasa atin pa rin naman yan, eh, di ba? Sa lifestyle natin yan, the way you take care of yourself, especially kapag medyo nagkakaedad ka na, di ba? So, uh, very important talaga yung health natin. No? So, isa to sa mga nagiging cause ng depression. Overworking, did you know that overworking can really cause depression? Di ba? Uh, nabalitaan nyo naman, nabasa nyo siguro sa Facebook. Uh, doon sa Japan, parang grabe ata yung working hours nila. So, may nag-suicide din doon dahil matindi yung halos 24-7 ata yung trabaho ng bata na yun. So, napakadelikado. No? So, overworking or become exhausted because of too much of a heavy workload causes stress reaction within the body. Most people today consider that they are at least moderately impacted by stress cost from work no so kung ikaw medyo overwork ka find a balance kasi in my end i always find a balance because i know that overworking is really too um stressful no so parang yung buhay mo doon na umiikot and then parang kahit weekend nagtatrabaho ka pa rin so uh, check no i-check mo i-assess mo kung worth it pa ba no Kasi nga, overworking can really, it's really detrimental sa health mo, di ba? Not only in your health, but quality time dun sa iba pang kailangan mong gawin. Kailangan balance talaga. Okay? So, meron niyang uh, statement from, at least, I, I think, galing sa CEO ng Pepsi, o, no? So, in life, meron kang bolang, pinag, limang bolang pinagjajagel, no? So, isa doon, yung health mo, yung career mo, family mo, uh, yung dalawang bagay na importante sa iyo. So let's say yung yung relationship mo or kung ano man 'yan, no. So isa doon, isa doon um, is really, I mean, the, yung yung uh, limang bola na 'yon is really breakable or um, imagine nagjajagal ka ng limang bola, no. So so, lahat yon pag na, na, nahulog mo, pwede siyang mabagsak, no? So, it can be, it, it, meaning to say, pagka nahulog mo, hindi, hindi mo na ulit mababalik sa dati. So, yung karir mo, no? Kapag, na, like, for example, sa buhay, yung karir mo, pag nawala yan, may mahahanap at mahahanap ka. Pero once na yung pamilya mo, yung health mo nawala, hindi mo na maibabalik yan. No? So, napaka-importante i-consider natin talaga na yung health at yung family should be the, our first priority. Okay? Isolation and rejection. Okay? As human beings uh, are naturally social creatures, we require social interaction to function properly. Human beings also long for intimacy. Another person to take care for love and support them. So, isa to sa nagiging cause ng uh, depression kapag uh, nare-reject ka. So, yung iba siguro sa love life na nababasted o na-isolate sila. No? So, isa to sa mga very sensitive cases. Kaya, um, kung meron kayong mga kaibigan na uh, mga na-experience to, no? so, siguro mas maganda eh, confront natin sila dahil Hindi natin alam kung ano yung nangyayari sa kanila. Um, and finally, uh, grief and loss. No? So, following the loss of a loved one, no? grieving individuals experience many of the same symptoms of depression, trouble sleeping, poor appetite, and loss of pleasure or interest in activities are normal or normal response to loss. No? So, yung pera, pag natalo ka sa stock market, o kaya na, na nakawan ka, so... Um, isa, isa yan sa mga cause ng depression. Depende pa sa materiality ng ama kung sobrang malaki yan. Marami ngayon na bibiktima ng mga scam, di ba? Napapanood niyan yan. So, thankful tayo at medyo aware tayo uh, how to properly manage our money, how to properly invest our money at Aware tayo sa mga scam-scam na yan. Kasi sa, sa mga nagkalat na balita ngayon, imagine yung life savings nila na scam, million-million. So imagine the the, 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 the the feeling of loss and grief in their end, di ba? So talagang mahirap yun, di ba? So kaya nga tayo, di ba, uh, 
as much as possible, kung meron tayong mga kaibigan na uh, gustong mag-invest, bago pang mahikayat ng mga scam-scam na yan, maging, tulungan natin silang maging aware ng tamang proseso. Kasi nga, yung sudden loss na ganito, yung tulad ng mga biktima ka ng mga scam na yan, patuloy pang may nabibiktima kasi nga hindi sila aware uh, at may tamang paraan, is really can lead to uh, serious depression. Okay? So, ways to face your fears and free yourself from the pain of the past. Okay? So, number one, break through from your fears, insecurities, doubts, and negative thoughts. Your fears, insecurities, doubts, or negative beliefs are the source of suffering. To achieve your desires, it is imperative to break through them to experience the greatness, greatness you deserve. Okay, so Independence Day today, no? So Happy Independence Day to all. And if you are suffering from your fears, insecurities, or negative thoughts, it's about time to free yourself from this, these things, and break through from it, iba. Move on, because uh, we can never live our life backwards. We need to move forward. Okay. So, for us to be able to uh, set ourselves free bilang malaya, to lay, to, total ha, araw ng kalayaan niya yun, no? so, break through ka na dito sa mga nararamdaman mo na to, no Kasi hanggat, hanggat nag-hold on ka pa sa mga kinakatakutan mo, sa mga doubts mo sa sarili mo, sa mga negative thoughts mo, the more na hindi ka makakaproceed sa gusto mong gawin. Okay? There are a lot of things needed to be done at a short period of time. So kung gusto mong gumawa ng kung ano man ang gusto mong gawin, huwag ka na magduda sa sarili mo dahil dapat magtiwala ka sa sarili mo. Yan ang unang-una mong gagawin. At huwag na huwag kang magdududa. If you don't believe in yourself, who, who else we, who will believe in you? Diba? So breakthrough no starting today kung meron pang natitirang fears insecurities and doubt negative thoughts sa sarili mo okay don't allow your past to be drawn into the future the past may come back to revisit you it does so to remind you of the neglected aspect of your life essential to your personal growth If something in your life is the cause of your unhappiness, attend to it by making peace with it. Find out what the, the belief or emotion wants you to understand. Because things happens for a reason. Okay? So, past is past. Um, negative na nangyari sa'yo in the past, kung business man yan, sa personal mo, love life, no? don't dwell on it. Uh, you have to let go of your past because uh, you need to concentrate on what's what what will be the future or what the future will will uh, look like di ba so yung past kasi mayroong mga reason but nangyari yan eh di ba so kung meron kang bad na experience from the past so take note of it as a learning experience no Uh, because everything happens for a reason. Hindi naman mangyayari sa iyo yung mga bagay na masasakit na yan kung walang dahilan. Actually, it makes us stronger. no? So, the more na pinanghahawakan natin yung past, mas mabigat sa pakiramdam natin and mas hindi natin magawa yung... We cannot really become the best version of ourselves kung we still keep on holding our past. no? So, Uh, so don't allow no don't allow it transform your transform your fears into the, the the gateway towards your happiness always see opportunities in every challenges let go of looking stupid feeling embarrassed being ignored and facing rejection or failure accept failure as part of life get through it and get over it okay So, transform, so meaning yung mga uh, after you break through no, from your fears, insecurities, and negative thoughts, make it a get- gateway towards your happiness. Once na ni-let go mo kasi yung mga negativity na yan, 
there will be a more room for your happiness and positivity. Kasi nga, once you let go of it, ma-unload mo na yan sa sarili mo, no? Uh, mas ma- mas marami ng room no para maging positive ka sa buhay and you can do a lot of things because it, it, uh, by being positive on a day-to-day basis the more motivated you can become and mas positive ka to do other things to execute your 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 long uh, term plans or even short term plans kapag ka talagang very positive ka and yung satis- level of satisfaction is really high no kapag ka wala kang doubt sa sarili mo naging successful man or not at least you tried di ba it's it's better than not taking the risk at all no for example sa stock market at least na experience natin lahat ito di ba uh, so hindi may iwasang malugi in part yan ng journey natin pero once na ma-overcome natin yan iba-iba tayo ng level ng ano eh ng experience eh. Once na ma-let go natin yan and hindi tayo nag-give up, mas masarap yung feeling na kikita ka sa stock market. Hindi hindi na dun sa sa pere. Eh. There's something more uh, rewarding eh. Yung feeling na nag-stay ka sa industry, hindi ka gumib up. And yung loss mo na nabawi na mo, no? It takes time. It's it's not that it is not really a bed of roses but it is possible kung motivated ka no so the mere fact na hindi ka nag-give up after ilang years no so very rewarding na yon no very very satisfying no kasi expect nyo no first 1 to 3 or 4 years depende sa uh, learning curve nyo depende on how you strategize yung yung uh, battle nyo dito sa stock market, no? So, once na malagpasan nyo yan, yung first five years nyo, very, ano na yan, very rewarding na yan. And, make sure continuously mag improve kayo kasi talagang yung learning curve, the way you strategize, the way you document your trade, very important yan, no? Okay? Believe in yourself, no? So, ito, napaka-importante sa lahat. Focus your attention on being ready, willing, and prepared for the success. Joy, wonder, connections, good fortune, and awesome circumstances that are yours if you are willing to work and be open to it. You deserve the best no matter what. Accept the fact about yourself. No, So, this is the first thing you should really consider. Uh, believe in yourself because nobody... Uh, does uh, unless, di ba? Uh, naniwala ka sa sarili mo. Pag naniwala ka sa sarili mo, may execute mo yan eh. Magagawa mo yan. No? So, ako dati, hindi naman ako nag-Facebook Live, katulad nito. Hindi naman ako nag-post sa Facebook. Hindi naman ako nag-post sa Instagram. Di ba? So, kung ang inisip ko ba is naging insik naging negative agad ako na nako baka pag nagpost ako walang pumansin sa akin is tatagal ba naman ako hanggang ngayon no ilang taon ko nang ginagawa to and nagle-level up di ba nagle-level up imagine niyo yung commitment na holiday ngayon di ba walang trading walang work pero i prepared for this particular live session because i want to make my time more productive it's living a life with a purpose it's it's it, it's there's a really a certain satisfaction you can get eh pag uh, people start following you no because i did it because i first believe in myself no so sana yung mga nakikinig ngayon at makaka uh, panood pa nito follow um i mean do the same thing no kung may gusto ko yung gawin no Kung love nyo talaga yung stock market, gusto nyo magturo, go on. Kasi the more na maraming magtuturo, the better eh. Kasi para nga masave natin yung iba na nabibiktima ng scam. Or we have no idea kung sino yung pwede nating matulungan or ma-inspire. Kapag ginawa natin yung dapat nating gawin. If we believe in ourselves, di ba, na kung mag-conduct ka din ng FB Live at kahit may isa, hanggat may isang nakikinig sa'yo, no? Hanggat may isang nakikinig sa'yo, go on, don't give up. As long as nakikita mo yung value dun sa ginagawa mo, 
no because life is more meaningful if you live it with a divine purpose ibang iba yung level of satisfaction na na mararamdaman mo okay if you believe in yourself kung anong aspeto yan no mapa stock market man yan gagawa ka ng negosyo uh, people first no siguro para sa akin people first kasi talagang yan yung nagiging isang ingredient ng mga successful entrepreneur or kung sino man yung uh, magi start ng new venture sa buhay nila people first kasi talagang blessing will soon to follow kapag prioritize mo yung tao na kailangan ng tulong okay and live a meaningful and purpose driven life so ito na yung ito na yung sinabi ko kanina no you should First, plan to be great. Step into your power and dream big. Have no doubt about your success. No, pag nagumpisa ka, no, if you decided to live a meaningful and purpose-driven life from day one, maniwala ka sa sarili mo na magiging successful ka. Kahit na may nambabas siguro sa iyo, kahit na negative yung sinasabi sa iyo, wag na wag kang gigive up. No, siguro ako last year. Noong nag-start ako ng first program ko, uh, Paying It Forward, way back 2000, uh, way back October. So, kung siguro nadala ako dun sa mga negativity or iba yung tingin, no? So, siguro hindi ako nag-continue until this year na napakarami ng natulungan, no? Uh, libong tao ang natulungan. Imaginin mo yung dapat mo palang magagawa pa, no? Kung naniwala ka sa sarili mo at naniwala ka magiging successful ka no so napakaimportante na huwag kang magpapaapekto sa mga taong negative around you in fact you should avoid negative people around you because they have problems for every situation no so hindi makakatulong yan get rid of those negative people and start to uh, um Start to associate yourself to those people that can make you a better person. So, someone na mas mami matututunan ka, someone na yung attitude is makakapag-uplift din ang sarili mo, someone na makakamotivate sa'yo and hindi yung tipong makakadown pa sa'yo. No? Never dwell on scarcity. No? So, wag tayong, wag tayong titingin dun sa kakulangan. Okay? Lagi tayo dapat maging thankful. Hindi tayo dapat magreklamo na mahirap ang buhay. Kasi the more na iniisip natin yan, talagang hirap ang buhay. Learn to think, speak, and live as an abundant person. Turn off the news. no Turn off the news. Huwag niyong i-compare sa sarili niyo dun sa Facebook friends niyo na nakikita niyo panay ang travel, panay ang kung anong ginagawa. Kasi magkakaiba tayo ng um, siguro takbo ng buhay eh. Uh, iba-iba tayo ng kapalaran, di ba? Meron yung iba dyan, nagiging CEO na or nagiging successful na at the age of 80. Okay? Di ba yung, yung founder ng KFC? Grabe ang pinagdaanan nun. Since birth, puro kamalasan. Pero at the age of 80, naging founder ng KFC and until such time na namatay siya, sobrang successful and he leave a legacy. Meron naman yung iba nagiging CEO, nagiging successful uh, around 20 years old to 30 years old pero nadededo naman at the age of 35. Di ba? So isa na yung CEO ng isang famous na software company, yung SAP. So iba-iba tayo ng ano, iba-iba tayo ng kapalaran, iba-iba tayo ng takbo ng buhay. Siguro habang buhay tayo, maganda yung may magawa tayo para sa kapwa natin. Yung tipong kahit, in, alam mo yung maganda yung isipin na pag nawala ka sa mundong to, ano ba yung matatandaan ng tao sa'yo? Ano ba yung nakontribute mo? No? <clears throat> so, yun yung napaka-importante na iniisip natin. After natin ma-accomplish yung mga dreams natin, ano ba yung kailangan ko magawa sa ibang tao? Ano ba yung contribute ko sa industry? Kasi... Yan yung purpose mo kung bakit ka pinanganak para din gaw- para i-fulfill kung ano man yung dreams ni God sa buhay mo kasi may reason ba tayo nabubuhay. Focus your attention on being ready and willing and prepared to be 
for, for the beauty, wonder, connections, good fortune, and favorable circumstances that are yours if you are willing to work and be open to it, no? So, napakasarap, no? Pagka yung uh, may reason ka, no? Kung bakit ka gumigising sa umaga. No? Gumigising ka lang ba? Kasi papasok ka sa trabaho. Di ba mas masarap gumising? Gigising ka kasi meron kang inspiration. Meron kang dapat nagawin sa buhay mo, no? Uh, meron akong pinos sa group natin about doon sa sa kung yung bang ginagawa mo o trabaho mo, masaya ka ba? Are you always looking forward sa Friday weekend? Kasi kung ganon, i-assess mo kung ikaw ba yung tra- yung buhay mo, umiikot lang sa trabaho mo, kaya looking forward ka sa Friday para matakasan mo. Di ba mas masarap yung looking forward ka sa Monday, ibig sabihin excited ka sa ginagawa mo. Tulad natin, mga traders, investors, talagang minsan boring pa nga sa atin, parang uh, uh, hate pa nga natin yung weekends kasi walang trading. And excited tayong gumising as early as 6 or 7 a.m. kasi may trading, magbabasa ng disclosure and everything. Kasi napaka-importante sa atin nung ginagawa natin. So, so once na ma-discover nyo kung ano talaga yung purpose nyo, kung ano talaga yung gusto nyo gawin, go for it. Kasi ang hirap na mabubuhay ka sa mundong to na taling tali ka sa isang bagay na hindi mo gustong gawin, di ba? We have a lot of choice no to to live our life to the fullest. Kasi nga, limited yung... Time is our... The scarcity. Time is really the this the uh, currency of the 21st century okay we can never turn back the time once we you know let go of it yung pera kikitain natin yan so make sure abang nabubuhay tayo talagang gusto natin yung ginagawa natin we find our purpose di ba at least once na ma- ma-discover mo kung ano talaga yung purpose sa buhay mo hindi lang yung paling talika sa trabaho mo kung ano man yan di ba mas ma-appreciate mo life itself Okay? The beauty of light itself. Okay? So, last uh, topic is the best practices to overcome negativity and feel happier. No? Kasi nga, yung topic natin ngayon is very important. Paano ba natin makukonkur yung sarili natin? Diba? Na-discuss natin dun sa mga uh, previous slides yung ibang uh, mga concept, no? Pero this is something na napaka-importante, no? So, number one is really practice gratitude every day. Gratitude by definition is the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and return kindness. If you shift your thoughts to focus on what you do have and what makes you happy, your brain will continue to notice the abundance in your life, leaving you feeling grateful and ultimately happier no be happy with the little you have there are a lot of people no with nothing that still they manage to smile napakaganda nung napakaganda nung ano na yun quote na yun no uh, na-share ko yan sa inyo no kasi nga di ba meron din mga magsasaka di ba iba diyan eh sa sa ano pa nakatira di ba sa iba pa sa squatter pa nakatira so Minsan pag nagko-compare tayo ng sarili natin, wag doon sa taong mas mataas sa atin. I-compare niyo yung sarili niyo doon sa mas nakakababa sa inyo para maging thankful kayo na kahit pa paano pala ako nakakakain ako sa labas, nakakapunta ako sa BGC, nakaka-travel ako. Nakakain ako ng gusto kong gawin, kumikita ako sa stock market, meron akong pagkakataon na makahanap ng iba pang pagkakakitaan, may trabaho ako, may buhay ako, okay ang health ko. There are a lot of there are a lot of things to be thankful every day. Kaya yung negativity sa totoo lang. Napaka ano niyan eh. Kumbaga the, we should have no more room for negativity because there are a lot of things to be thankful for, guys, di ba? So, yung magising ka na sa umaga, di ba? Napakalaking be- blessing na 'yon, no? So, practice gratitude every day, be thankful, no? Kung hindi ka kumita sa stock market ngayon, may pagkakataon ka pa bukas. Kung ipit ka ngayon, may pagkakataon ka namang lumaya. Ah. May trabaho ka naman, edi eh, mag-ipong ka ulit. Diba? Kung nagkamali ka, nakabili ka sa taas, diba? naipit ka, 
hanapan mo ng paraan, maraming paraan eh, di ba? Pero kung gigive up ka, hindi hindi ka makakalaya. In fact, pagsisisihan mo pa habang buhay na gumive up ka at hindi ka gumawa ng paraan kasi nga life give us an unlimited lessons, di ba? So, nagkakamali tayo kasi hindi natin alam. Pag nagkamali tayo, edi eh, matututo na tayo sa susunod, hindi na natin uulitin. So, embrace challenges and always be thankful every day. Practice total forgiveness. no So, ito napaka-importante. Um, an important step to avoid negativity is eliminating old resentments and forgiving not only others, but also forgiving yourself, di ba? Wag na wag, no? Wag na wag mo sa papagalitan ng sarili mo. Wag siguro ako in in one of my instances sa stock market. Meron akong nabiling stock talaga na nauntog ko talaga yung sarili ko sa pader. No? <laughs> Pero gawa nga ng emotion, kailangan natin pagdaanan 'yun. Pero simula noon hindi ko na inulit 'yun, di ba? So I forgive myself, no? Kasi wala namang ibang tutulong sa akin. Um, hindi ko, kahit saktan ko yung sarili ko, wala namang mangyari, masasaktan lang ako, di ba? So, dumadating yun sa buhay, okay? Uh, and, and then, kaya siguro ako inspired na mag-conduct ng ganitong motivational uh, session is maraming marami na rin, maraming marami akong napagdaanan sa buhay at maraming marami pa akong pagdadaanan, no? So, ang sarap kasi na i-share sa tao, no? Hindi kasi hindi kasi hindi kasi limit yung dapat magse-share ka pag senior citizen ka na o kaya maraming marami kang napagdaanan sa buhay no hangga't may time ka na i-share kung ano yung dapat mong i-share do it di ba kasi nga hindi mo alam kung hanggang kailan ang buhay mo eh kung ihintayin mo pa hanggang 60 years old pa di ba so sayang naman kasi nga make your time count di ba hangga't the the, the The earlier you can do something good for other people, the better. Huwag mo nang hintayin yung certain timeline para magawa mo yung dapat mong gawin, di ba? Since sa edad natin ngayon, o kung anong edad man meron kayo, marami kang nang napagdaanan na kapag naishare mo sa kapwa mo, hindi mo alam kung paano mo na-inspire yung kapwa mo, di ba? Uh, be the reason no? why others did not give up. Maaaring pag narinig nila yung, yung story mo o narinig yung mga ganitong session, ma-inspire sila na hindi natin alam na ando na pala sila sa point na mag-give up sila. di ba Kaya napakalaking bagay nung ganitong session, eh, yung, yung motivational. Kasi once in my life, guys, ha, pag ako down ako, pag ako nararamdaman ko na disappointed ako, alam yung ginagawa ko, kinakausap ko yung sarili ko. Paano ko kinakausap yung sarili ko? Pansin nyo naman, di ba? Talagang matindi ang post ko ng mga motivational, mga kung ano-ano, di ba, kaya sa Instagram. Kasi ganyan yung ginawa ko sa sarili ko nung down na down ako. Nag, sesend ako ng message sa sarili ko na don't give up, ini-inspire ko. Kasi parang alam mo yun, parang yung, yung future ko ngayon, no, kung ano ako ngayon, kinakausap ko yung past ko 3 uh, or 5 years ago na, Jem, wag na wag kang mag-give up. Ako si 2018. Diyan ka lang, uh, Gem 2015. Napakalaking bagay, guys. Kasi may, mayroong, mayroon talagang mapagdadaanan na sa buhay mo na talagang gigib up ka. Ha, ha, pero hindi pa pwedeng gumib up eh. So kung noong 2015 o kung 2013 gumib up siguro ko, eh hindi ako nag exist ngayon. At hindi rin ako makakatulong sa mga libo-libong taong nanonood ng session ko. Hindi ko ma-inspire yung ibang tao na Halos gumib up na, di ba? Eh, nakabangon pa, di ba? Kaya napakalaking bagay na madiskubre mo ano ba talaga yung purpose mo sa buhay, di ba? Kasi talagang napaka-meaningful ng buhay kapag ka mayroong kang purpose eh. So, going back, no? Forgive yourself kahit nagkamali ka. Baka mamaya yung pagkakamali mo na yun, makabuti pa. So, tulad ko ako, nagkamali ako na maraming beses. O di nakabuti pa sa akin, nakaka-inspire pa ako ng... Maraming tao, di ba? So, with forgiveness, creating more room for love. You you will feel more open to love for yourself and ultimately for others. And you can make choices to experience your life in a whole new way to feel happier. So, imagine niyo you practice gratitude every day and then you forgive 
uh, you practice total forgiveness, yung 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 uh, hatred, no? Doon sa puso nyo, halos empty na. Puro porgi, puro love na lang yung natitira. Di ba ang saya nung ganong buhay? Di ba? Halos, hindi ka nagkukos ng stress, hindi ka, na, hindi ka nakaka-experience, kasi napaka-stressful talaga nung marami kang kinakaasaran, di ba? Tapos parang nagre-reklamo ka sa buhay mo, hindi ka thankful sa, sa sweldo mo, naliliitan ka, puro ka-complain. Talagang may stress ka nun eh, di ba? And going back nga dito sa session natin, Ikaw mismo yung nagkukulong sa sarili mo. Pinapahirapan mo yung sarili mo. Instead, you free from yourself doon sa mga ganun, ganung negativity. So, starting today, kung isa ka man sa mga nakaka-experience noon, Independence Day ngayon, irigalo mo na sa sarili mo yun. Palayain mo na sa sarili mo. Di ba? Be thankful and let go ng mga, mga tao sigurong nabubwisit ka. Di ba? Because... It, it's really, really, you know, fulfilling if you practice total forgiveness and gratitude every day. Focus on the present moment and avoid the thing of the past. Okay? So, negativity arises when we're rumirating about what happened in the past or worrying about what could happen could happen in the future. In, pre, in the present moment, all is probably well. No? Focus on the things that matters today, no? So, napakarami niya. Buhay ka, di ba? May merong kang pamilya, kompleto family mo. And you will experience a sense of peace and then have access to greater joy in that moment, no? So, napaka-importante nung present moment. Kasi kung walang present moment, how can we correct our mistake in the past? And the present, time today, no? So, do something today that your future self can thank you for. Okay? Number one thing is don't give up, no? And believe in yourself. Going back nga sa kwinento ko, no? Kung nung 2015, 2013, nag-give up ako. And I did not do some things that I will be thankful for today, di ba? Wala eh, di ba? Sino ang kawawa? Ako, no? So, ngayon 2018, almost half of the year na tayo no ano, ano ba yung pwede nating gawin so yung 2019 natin 20, 2020 natin and moving forward ano ba yung pasasalamatan natin sa gagawin natin ngayon no di ba kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo do, do something today that your future self will thank you for no maniwala ka sa sarili mo gawin mo kung anong gusto mong gawin sa tingin mo na makakabuti sa iyo at sa pamilya mo and hindi lang yung sarili mo ang magbe-benefit niyan pati pamilya mo anak mo magulang mo mga pamangkin mo kasi sa totoo lang itong stock market uh, hindi lang naman to short term eh. hindi lang naman para talaga sa makachupit tayo na panggastos pandagdag sa income sa totoo lang ah, ang maganda dito sa stock market meron tayong chance na mag-invest sa future blue chip yung tipong iiwan mo yung major portion ng savings mo and magmumultiply uh, up to the, you know, future generation. Y- yun yung ideal, eh, di ba? Na kahit ano mangyari, may na-invest ka at nagmumultiply, di ba? Hindi lang 1,000%, di ba? So, ang ganda, eh, di ba? Kung meron tayong gagawin, may itatanim tayo ngayon, di ba? At pag tumubo yan, unlimited na yung fruits niyan, di ba? So, kaya napakaganda na ikukunik natin tong session na to doon sa ginagawa natin ngayon, di ba? sa investment natin, di ba? Maging sa trabaho natin and mga future endeavors natin. Siyempre, lahat naman tayo, especially yung mga kababayan nating OFW, gusto niyan umuwi na ng Pilipinas, magnegosyo, maraming maraming ganyan ako nakakausap. Di ba? So, alam ko kayang kaya natin gawin yan, no? So, kaya nga natin to dinidiscuss because alam niyo yung law of attraction. So, Ano yun eh? Sobrang, sobrang totoo niyan. So, may libro yan, may video yan. Ako, I've been practicing that ever since, no? Even nung college pa ako. So, halos ata lahat ng inisip ko nangyari sa buhay ko eh. Totoo yan, no? Ako, ako na mismo nagtetestify. Hal- totoo yan. Provided, paghihirapan mo. No? Provided, paghihirapan mo. When walang imposible, no? Uh, kapag pinaghirapan mo, kasi nga may kasabihang whatever a human mind can perceive, he can achieve. Totoo yan. 
Kasi tayo gumagawa ng kapalara natin. At hindi naman yan mangyayari kung hindi tayo nagsumikap. Okay? Do something that makes you happy. No? So, kung mag- gusto mong mag-travel, mag-alat ka ng budget. Kung gusto mong kumain sa labas ngayon, napaka-thankful natin, napakaraming kainan sa labas dati nung mga bata pa tayo, di ba? Jollibee lang, makdo, happy na. Pero ngayon, punta ka ng BGC, punta ka ng kung saan man, di ba? Napakaraming kainan, di ba? Socialize, napaka-importante niyan. Mingle with your co-traders, investors. Or, in my end, lagi ako umuwi sa pamilya ko sa sa province namin, di ba? Kasi talagang napaka-importante na gawin mo yung after doing your your best sa work sa stock market find time to socialize no kasi talagang hindi natin maibabalik yung mga nakalipas na uh, oras eh pero yung memories lagi nating mababalikan yan di ba so spend quality time with your loved ones and do what really makes you feel happy okay by acting in a positive manner and doing activities that you love you can break a negative mood, mood and start feeling happier and more energized instantly. no? So, wari, na-stress ka, naipit ka kay ganito, di ba? I-deviate mo yung attention mo kasi wala, wala kang magagawa eh kapag ka nagkamali ka. Eh. So, i-deviate mo, kain ka muna sa labas, magpamasahe ka, di ba? Uh, kahit pa paano, marirelieve yung stress mo, no? At kahit pa paano, i-deviate mo yung attention mo kaysa yung magmumukmuk ka, uh, because hindi yun yung solution eh, no? So, kailangan i-deviate mo yung attention mo. At least, kahit nagkamali ka, di ba? Naging thankful ka pa rin, di ba? Kasi may, meron pa naman pagkakataon para itama mo yun. Yung pagkakamali mo, no? So, have positive mantras to boost your mood, no? So, ako, ramdam na ramdam nyo yan sa akin. Talagang ako, napakalaking bagay nung mga quotations na yan eh. Di ba? Yung mga quotes... It uh, changed the mood talaga. Sobrang nakaka-positive. Ang ginagawa ko nga dyan, yung ibang gusto ko, piniprint ko pa. Tapos inilalagay ko sa workstation ko. No? Mantra by definition is a word or sound repeated to aid concentration in med- meditation. A statement or slogan repeated frequently. No? Having a few positive mantras to turn to when confronted with a dampened mood is a great way to in- immediately uplift your spirits and channel positive energy to feel happier. No? Experts suggest that these mantras can be said out loud or silently. As long as they are power- powerful in the their content to be effective and inspiring. So ako, uh, siguro napapansin nyo, madalas ako mag-post talaga niyan eh. Yung mga motivational quote, inspirational quotes, kasi talagang ramdam ko, maraming kailangan. Maraming nangangailangan yan, kasi nga sa sarili ko, ganun ang ginawa ko. Talagang nagme-message ako sa Facebook, sa sarili ko, ano, mga mga don't give up quotes, di ba? So, ganun-ganun yung ginawa ko sa sarili ko. So, nung nakatulong sa akin, ganun yung ginawa ko sa kapwa ko. And thankful naman ako na na-appreciate na maraming tao. In fact, sa Instagram nga, halos puro, puro quotes, quotes na yung pinopost ko, wala masyadong chart, pero yung followers ko, dumadami pa rin ang dumadami. Ibig sabihin talagang yung psychological and yung motivational aspect, kailangan na maraming tao yan, eh, lalo na sa trading. So, it, it boosts our mood eh. No? It boosts our mood. Write down your goals. no So, napaka-importante ng goals. Evidence shows that your brain can adapt to the intentions you set. So, writing down your goals increases your commitment to and your chances of achieving them and gaining success. The mere act of setting and pursuing goals can affect your happiness regardless of whether you attain them. The idea is that if you commit to an objective, you're more likely to enjoy the journey toward achieving it. So, the mere fact na nagsulat ka na achieve mo yung goals mo, nasulat mo sa sa notes or nalagay mo sa kung ano man yung gusto mong sa whiteboard man yan is, re- is already an achievement. Malaking malaking uh, it's really a great start no uh, for you for you to feel happier at least may na-achieve ka and at least may direction ka kung anong gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo for this year uh, until the end of this year for next year or 5 years from now, di ba? Napakalaki na ka motivate yo no. So kung sa atin sa stock market 
I- 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 susulat natin until the end of this year, meron akong isang goal na makabagger pa, di ba? After ako makabagger ng mga dalawa, tatlo this year, nakaka-motivate yun. And it really dive- drives your attention and focus to it. And doon mo lang nafo-focus yung energy mo sa goals mo. Yun yung maganda. Meron kang focus kasi meron kang goal na define mo, no? Uh, yan yung kagandahan, no? So, always make it a habit to write down your goals and idadigest mo pa yung goals mo into weekly. Or kung yearly goals man yan, monthly, daily, kung uh, sa trading related yan, eh, doon sa kota mo, di ba? In numerical figures, no? So, at least may target ka and may basis ka for assessing your performance and assessing your room for improvement if just in case hindi mo ma-achieve yung goals mo. It doesn't necessarily mean na kapag hindi mo na-achieve yung goals mo, failure ka. No. Failure is part of success. No, It's really an ingredient for success. It's, it, 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 it is meant to happen because meron kang kailangan improve sa sarili mo. So, wala naman taong hindi nag-fail day. Eh. Lahat tayo, uh, at some point, no? meron tayong mga failures sa buhay. Pero ka- as long as maging positive ka, no? yung failures na yan, paliit, pal- pakunti ng pakunti, hanggang sa parang uh, halos siguro nakukontrol mo na. Kasi nga, nag improve ka over time. No? Maintain a strong bonding with your loved ones. Ito, napaka-importante talaga. And it really makes us feel happier, di ba? Loved ones, siyempre, pamilya natin. Inspiration natin. Napaka-importante yan. Bakit ba tayo nagtatrabaho? Uh, bakit ba tayo nag invest Bakit ba tayo nagsusumika pa? Dahil para sa mga loved ones natin. Para sa mga younger generations natin, siyempre, iniisip natin yung mga anak natin, pamangki natin, ayaw na natin silang maghirap balang araw. I mean, maghirap in the sense na yung pinagdaanan natin hirap. Kung ikaw man OFW, gusto mo yung anak mo. Hindi na pagdaanan yung sobrang hirap na pinagdaanan mo nung OFW ka. So kung ikaw sobrang, uh, yun naman ang purpose natin, ba tayo nagsisikap sa buhay? Para yung mga younger, yung mga generation next, next to us is kahit pa paano, hindi na nila pagdaanan yung mga pinagdaanan natin. Otherwise, di ba, para namang kawawa naman yung lahi natin. Kung wala tayong gagawin today, di ba? Kasi yung ginagawa natin today, hindi lang para sa sarili natin, kundi dun sa mga next generation. Can you imagine your children na paglaki nila, natapos sila, pinag-aral nyo sa mga mamahaling school na na makakapasok lang sa isang trabaho na alilain sila, ang liit ng sweldo, siyempre hindi. It's a stepping stone, yes. Uh, mas maganda may exposure sila sa corporate, pero mas maganda ata i-develop natin sila to become businessman someday. Kasi nga tayo sa culture natin, laging nagiging employee setup, ta- nagiging employee mindset tayo. So isa na to, yung trading, actually this is considered to be an entrepreneurship kasi talagang it's it's actually uh, you know having a business eh. ang kagandahan dito sa trading yung overhead mo sobrang liit wala kang rent wala kang mga pinapasweldong tao wala kang tax na binabayaran na malaki di ba kasi uh, subject na sa capital gains tax yung ating kini uh, binibenta so ito na eh. kung 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 between business and and stock trading napakalaking starting point na nito no so So, siyempre, maganda rin mag-business. No? Yung kinita mo sa stock, siyempre, hindi naman forever na i-expose mo yan sa risk. Pwede mong i-invest sa mas stable pa na negosyo. No? So, kaya itong stock trading sa ka-business, magandang i-connect kasi parang yung konsepto is uh, na more focus mo dun sa return. Eh, diba? Lagi mong iniisip yung mindset mo. Pag nag-invest ka dun sa isang negosyo, magkano kikitain ko? Kasi sa market, no sa market ganito kinikita ko let's say yung isang million mo ganito return per year ko bag ini-invest mo so standard mo na yun benchmark mo na yun kung ilalabas mo yung pera mo sa stock market meron ka ng awareness na ganito return mo eh and benchmark mo na yun hindi na bababa dapat yung expected return mo doon so nakakabuti in a way di ba okay so going back yo no strong bonding with your loved ones napakaimportante niyan yung kada kikita tayo sa stock market di ba i-realize natin kasi talagang dapat i-enjoy nyo rin yan at some point. Eh. Hindi naman hindi naman majority ng kinita mo, pero alam mo yon yung bonding your family, yung lalabas kayo, kakain kayo, di ba? Sa labas, mag-travel kayo, no? Yung reasonable amount lang para at least maramdaman nyo yung reward ng pinaghirapan nyo. 
stay away from negative people. Stop comparing yourself based on what you've seen in social media, friend, feeds, okay? So, yun, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, stay away from negative people because they have a problem to every situation, no? So, walang maitutulong sa atin yan. And, siguro, kung talagang concern tayo dun sa taong yun, tulungan natin sila na maging positive sa buhay. Baka may pinagdadaanan sila na hindi natin alam, di ba? So, uh, maaaring na-associate ka dun sa tao na yun dahil ikaw yung way para mabago siya. Ngayon, despite the fact na tinulungan mo siya, hindi mo siya nabago, siguro, time to let go, no? Kasi sayang yung oras mo, eh, no? And ito, no? Stop comparing yourself, no? By stopping to compare ourselves to others, we start to appreciate our self, no? So, kasi kailangan focus ka kung ano, kung ano ka, kung ano yung na-achieve mo, no? Uh, okay lang mag-look forward dun sa mga na-inspired ka ng mga successful people, pero don't limit yourself sa kaya mong gawin kasi baka nga mahigitan mo pa yung mga tao na yun. And yun nga, yung Facebook minsan, siguro, hindi may iwasan, titingin kayo dyan, diba? Tapos makukumpare mo sarili mo. Wag, don't compare, no? Yourself to others. Okay? So, guys, uh, ay, uh, yun. So, last but not the least, stay motivated, inspired 24-7, no? Exercise, have a healthy lifestyle. Yung exercise talagang, it, it actually releases uh, positive hormones, eh. So, iba yan, no? Kung, kung ikaw, stress ka, ako at some point, meron akong stress sa buhay dati na idinibiate ko dun sa exercise. Nag-gym talaga ako. Kinarir ko na magkaroon ako ng abs, no? So, sobrang hirap, no? Medyo na-achieve kong konti, no? Pero, ang ganda, eh. Ang ganda na idinibiate ko yung attention ko dun sa exercise, no? Kasi, na-boost pa yung confidence ko, no? So, by being motivated, inspired, to change your life, no? Kung meron kang gustong ma-achieve this year or next next year, whether financial, health, family, do, then do it. Kasi it will increase the level of positivity in you, eh. And it makes you feel happier knowing that na you're on the right track, no? Na, na meron kang ginagawa na something na uh, nababago yung buhay mo, no? So, always keep on learning and helping other people kasi talagang life is more meaningful talaga pagka you do it uh, with a purpose. Have a healthy lifestyle, no? So, encourage, kung, kung ikaw na-involve ka dun sa mga exercise, lifestyle, share mo, di ba, sa social media, marami tayong avenue to share what we know. And it feels great na masishare natin, no? yung mga alam natin. Okay? Ayun. So, guys, that's it. So, thanks for spending uh, an hour of your time today. No, So, I hope kahit pa paano uh, na- na-motivate ko, na-inspire ko yung mga nag-participate dito. And today, Independence Day, no? So, if you still hold on to your past, kung may negativity ka man dyan, today, no? Make this day uh, your Independence Day doon sa uh, mga uh, negativity na natitira sa'yo. Free yourself, no? Starting today. And live your life to the fullest starting tomorrow, no? Life is worth living, no? There's always something to be thankful and to be, uh, to celebrate, no? So, enjoy our, your life, no? And make each moment count, no? Okay, so have a good night and thanks guys and good luck to us tomorrow.